It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC East. It's the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills, and it's coming up next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. Singletary to get the drive started. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Throwing now is Allen. Flushed out right. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now this looks like a roughing call. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so, they're going to be diligent about throwing the flag. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Second and seven from the 20. Now Allen. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Operating from the gun, Allen. And that is it. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills' opening drive yields three. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So out come the Patriots here to get their first shot on offense. Leading them out, the second-year man from Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. They'll run for it. It's Stevenson, and he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Now Jones. 
And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 32-yard line. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Throwing Jones. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. 12 more yards there and another first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the... Well, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. Harris is picked up by... side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3 nothing. our score. Second and nine. Allen, he finds his man complete. That's McKenzie. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he is going to have the Bills first down as this defense cannot come up with a play that they need. In fact, they surrender a big chunk, 17 yards there on fourth down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Allen now looks to throw. His throw caught at about the five. And the Bills are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, this is a well-orchestrated drive they've put together. You think back to how far they were backed up to start things out? But they've gone on a march since then. And now after that completion there, they've got first and goal. This is where good coaching and execution come into play because down this close, you absolutely don't want to turn it over. Good job keeping that in mind as he escaped, bought time, and decided throwing it away was his best option. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Allen now on third and goal. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back. Matt Judon. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. The kick by Bass is good. And they're able to double their lead just before half. It's 6-0. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, Turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. 
The Pats at the line, ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Well, the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Credit the sack to Von Miller. Well, they got the lead, but it's certainly not a big one. And how do you keep control of that lead? Certainly not by that last play there. They gave up a big sack on the first play of this drive. Now it's double the distance to the first down marker. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And Take possession of the football. And that has to be a little bit discouraging because after all their halftime talk, adjustments, and points of emphasis, their first drive ends with an interception. Absolutely aggravating if you're a head coach because you spent all that time gone through every situation possible and it still ends in a turnover. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Singletary. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. He's a hero of his defense up to the play he just made. A one possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills are forced to settle for three. So golden field position there is squandered as they can muster only a field goal. Yeah, you were gifted a first to goal situation, but I have to give credit to the defense. They were brought out in a really tough situation, so give them credit for holding them to three. That's a pretty nice accomplishment. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. New England trying to get to place on offense. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's going to be caught along the sideline. And what a job of keeping his feet in bounds. They say that's a catch. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left. Now Sean McDermott will throw out the challenge flag. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Now Jones on first and 10. 
Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Looking to throw. Jones has set up the screen for Stevenson. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends, his time has run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Indianapolis. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. Another try after the first down sack. Jones. And yeah, this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and a mile. And the pass to Henry is intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And a Possession here up at the 44. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. And it's probably been there for a long time, but now it's evident because you can see it in their faces, you can see it in their body language, maybe even a little bit in that play call that ended up maybe closing them out. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Allen going to throw. He finds his man complete. That's McKenzie. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I and mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try to loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. They go right back to Singletary. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now throw the Wind up incomplete. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. So they set up for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown power would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So now Jones and the Patriots down by 12. A minute 53 remaining. They've yet to score all game long, but now they need to do so twice in short order to have a shot. Jones. A hit as he throws there incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Here's Jones. And that will be incomplete. 
means there's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. To throw is Jones. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he has stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed 10. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. Now the Patriots gonna use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Jones. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Back to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They were so close, that close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This Buffalo defense has stood their ground. This is third and goal. One final shot, they'll look to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. And a little bit of a consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. Won't win in the game, but they do get the score with all zeros showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score. Won't be enough, but here's a final chance at the extra point. So the kick is through, but they'll get no closer than five in the 